Hey scientists, today we're going to talk about summarizing data. Okay, so I'm going to use a Google Doc just because it's going to be very simple and easier for you guys to see. But remember, you are allowed to communicate your information in any way you would like. So you can do a presentation using slides, you can make a trifold poster, you can write a scientific report, you can do a scientific newspaper, any way you want to communicate is fine with me. And again, just using the docs because it's nice, clear, and we're only going to talk about this one little section of this. All right. So what I've gone and done is I went to my Google Sheets and I copied and pasted my best data, right? You want to be using your best data, the solution that solves the problem the best. Um, it would be overwhelming to put every single trial on here, especially if you're someone like me, and it took you until design seven to really get some great data that you were happy with, right? At design seven, I was happy with my solution. It worked great. It was fantastic, right? So I copied and pasted the data table, and then I copied and pasted the graph, right? These two things we're going to use to help us because these are evidence, right? This is when we're going, when we do a claim evidence reasoning, reasoning, we're going to use the evidence here, right? This is going to be the evidence of our data or from our data. So I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to write a claim. So the solution, reduce the force in the collision, right? That's my claim. I think if I was actually doing this, I'd describe the solution or I'd have a name for the solution, like the bouncy, bouncy phone case. Reduce the force in the collision. Bouncy, bouncy phone case. Interesting. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to summarize the data in words. So in all 10 trials, the distance after the solution was much lower than the distance before the solution. All right, so let's write that. This is my evidence. In all 10 trials, notice I wrote out the word 10 because I'm writing a paragraphy type thing here. Distance the item traveled before the solution was much larger than the distance the item traveled after the solution. For example, in trial, that's a title, trial number two, the solution reduced the difference, the, mm -mm, the distance traveled by, hang on, let's go back up here, trial two, did I pick a good one? Trial two, by one whole centimeter, guys, Woo! by, <laughs> use your best data, let's go pick another one. Ooh, how about trial four, by four centimeters, perfect, use your best data. Trial four, by a total of four centimeters, which you could also write out this way if you wanted. Uh, meters. Either one of those would be fine. Okay. Awesome. And then you could give some reasoning, right? Um, this matters because the lower bounce or the lower distance traveled means there's less force acting on the object and talk about the cushioning or the parachute or whatever it is, right? This is where you put reasoning. Okay. We also want to make sure we go look at our rubric. So I've actually copied and pasted. <laughs> the things from the rubric that are about the communication piece, right? So we know we have to have a bibliography, fine, that can go down here. We know we have to talk about kinetic energy and how it transfers, fine. We know we have to explain Newton's third law. Here would be a great place in your reasoning to start talking about Newton's third law says, uh, look at how smart my computer is. We're just going to leave it there, right? So you're using the solution, right? Right here, using the solution to talk about all these physics-y things you have learned. So notice we kind of start with this whole idea like, hey, this solution worked, and here's why 
it worked, and I'm going to use all this awesome, amazing physics I know. All right, scientists, good luck with summarizing your data and then using that to bridge the gap and talk about all the other physics you know. Make sure you check your rubric and science rules.